In the village. What do you want? Information. Whose side are you on? That would be telling. We want information. 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 You won't get it. By hook or by crook, we will. Who are you? The new number two. Who is number one? You are number six. I am not a number. I am a free man. <laughs> I said, what do you want? You are number six. That is the number of this place. Call from number two. Good morning, good morning. Any complaints? Yes. I'd like to mind my own business. So do we. Do you fancy a chat? The mountain can come to Mohammed. Mohammed? Everest, I presume. I've never had a head for heights. That's number one. At the summit. Play it according to Hoyle. Oh, all cards on the table. You may rely on that. Mm. Um, whose move? Yours only. Confide, and we concede. Breakfast? Ah, number 58. Allow me to introduce you to number six. Don't be shy, my dear. Keep up your strength. She may be a mayor number 58. She used to work in records. She has a great variety of information, haven't you, my dear? Alimukat ta'inen zabot, hmm? Anna, we have size to push zabot. Zabot. Wonderful gift. Photographic memory, you know. She have done well. I don't think she'll be with us for long. Nicely done. International cuisine, the best. French. International. Toast. Good morning. Congratulations on yet another day. It will be fine and dry. Some cloud, perhaps, but dry. Enjoy your... Marmalade? Thank you. What a piece of luck. We start our election campaign today. Shari outlook is very depressing, don't you think? Elections? In this place? Of course, we make our choice every 12 months. Every citizen has a choice. Are you going to run? Like blazes, the first chance I get. I meant run for office. Whose? Mine, for instance. You have a delicate sense of humor. Naturally. Humor is the very essence of a democratic society. appreciate the value of free elections. They think it's a game. Everyone votes for a dictator. Not at all. Just that their resistance is left. Frankly, my dear fellow, you are just the sort of candidate we need. What happens if I run against you? I might as well, while I'm waiting. Delightful. What physically happens if I win? Well, you're the boss. Number one's the boss. Join me. If you win, number one will no longer be a mystery to you, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I'll introduce you properly, and you'll see how you feel after assessing the madding crowd.
people of our community. There is recently a lack of opposition in the matter of free election. This is not good for our community and reflects an acceptance of things as they are. We know what we must do. What must we do? Fortunate to hang with us a recent recruit whose outlook is particularly militant and individualistic. <laughs> Let us hope that he will not deny his duty to the community by refusing to take up the challenge. Good people, it is my pleasure to present to you the one and only number six. I am not a number. I am a person. <laughs> In some place, at some time, all of you held positions of a secret nature and had knowledge that was invaluable to an enemy. Like me, you are here to have that knowledge protected or extracted. That's the stuff to give them. Unlike me, many of you have accepted the situation of your imprisonment and will die here like rotten cabbages. Keep going, they love it. The rest of you have gone over to the side of our keepers. Which is which? How many of each? Who's standing beside you now? I intend to discover who are the prisoners and who are the warders. I shall be running for office in this election. Good people, let us applaud a citizen of character. May the better man win and a big hand for number six. <laughs> She will not go away, and she doesn't even speak English. Precisely. Knowing your, shall we say, prejudices, I thought you'd rather not have one of the regulars. She's new here and quite delightfully charming, don't you think? What's the procedure? Now, that's more like it. The, uh, buggy transport with Lady Driver will be at your disposal for the election period. And anything else you may desire, within reason. Next. You will be expected to attain the dissolution of the outgoing council in half an hour's time in chambers of the town hall. Thanks very much. Uh, yes, you, you take me, take me to the town hall. Eri the town hall. Ah, uh, pasna. That's all right. Thank you. I'll, I'll walk. I... Congratulations, come again. Allow me to introduce myself. I am number 113, and this is my photographic colleague, Smile. number 113B. We uh, contribute to the local newspaper, the Tally Ho, you know. Right on. This is red-hot stuff, you know. Haven't had a candidate of your caliber for ages. Congratulations. How are you going to handle your campaign? No comment. Intends to fight for freedom at all Smile. costs. How about your internal policy? No comment. We'll tighten up on village security. Smile! How about your external policy? No comment. Our exports will operate in every corner of the globe. 
How do you feel about life and death? Mind your own business. No comment. <laughs> Welcome to this gathering as a prospective opposition candidate. Kindly approach the center desk. Play the game. According to Hoyle. According to the laws of a democratic society. These are designed for the protection of the citizens. You are a civilized man and would not, I'm sure, deny the right of proper procedure. Kindly approach the center desk. The final resolution of this outgoing council is a vote of thanks in number six. It's carried unanimously, and there is no further business at this time. Any questions? Certainly. Where'd you get this bunch of tailors' dummies? They were here when I arrived. Do you wish to question them? I do. Proceed. Who do you represent? Who elected you? To what place or country do you owe allegiance? Whose side are you on? Mustn't get too personal, my dear fellow. Any further questions? This farce, this 20th century Bastille that pretends to be a pocket democracy. Why don't you put us all into solitary confinement until you get what you're after and have done with it? I call this meeting to order. Look at them. Brainwashed imbeciles. Can you laugh? Can you cry? Can you think? Is this, is this what they did to you? Is this how they tried to break you till they got what they were after? In your heads must still be the remnant of a brain. In your hearts must still be the desire to be a human being again. This is the most serious breach of etiquette. I'd imagine your desire to stand for election was genuine. Personally, I'm prepared to give you the benefit of the doubt. I believe that you're headed away by an excess of enthusiasm. Nevertheless, the rules demand that you should undergo the test. All those in favor, head a unanimous limp. Please let me assure you that I could be a friend. Friend? Yes, indeed. You know they are watching. I know it. It does not prove that you or I are sympathetic. But the community has to live. So must you. Come, have some tea and we'll talk. How many lumps? 
No lunch. You don't take sugar? Good. That shows discipline for a start. Of course, I knew it anyway. What's that? From your records. We have everything. Gave up sugar four years and three months ago on medical advice. That shows you're afraid. What? You're afraid of death. I'm afraid of nothing. You're afraid of yourself. You are aware of that. Good, you are honest. That is of use here. Honesty attracts confidence. And confidences are the core of our business. See how honest I'm being with you. Very good technique. Where did you get it? Into the civil service. It adapted immediately. Number two here. Sorry, but things got out of hand. I'm aware that he's valuable to us, but I couldn't risk the entire project falling apart. Certainly I'll be more careful. But he's a very stubborn customer. Yes, right away. Certainly I warned them not to damage the tissue. Yes? Oh, yes, indeed. First stage only. Oh, absolutely. Clearly understood. This is merely the truth test, and there's no need to be alarmed. Why did you wish to run for electoral office? Why did you wish to run for electoral office? That is a lie, but won't be held against you. Everything you think here is in the strictest confidence. That's better. Why did you run for office? Come, come. You thought that if you won and took over our village, that you would be able to control an organized breakout. Correct? Good. But this was a mistake, wasn't it? You're not being honest. You are on the side of the people, aren't you? You mustn't think only of yourself. You have a responsibility. Six pound squad standing by. Good. Good. Simply splendid. Thanks for the tea. Any time. Voting for me, of course. Naturally. You see.
I'll do my best to get him a run for his money. The community can rest assured that their interests are very much my own and that anything I can do to maintain the security of the citizens will be my primary objective. Be seeing you. That was the lunchtime news on this election day. It looks as though it's going to be neck and neck. Stand by for our next bulletin on the hour, every hour. Although you've only been here a short time, my dear, there's only one thing to learn, and it can be learned very quickly. Obey the rules, and we will take good care of you. Try it. Hmm? Hmm? Pass now. You're seeing you. Try it! Try it! Is it a zoon? Ah! Is it zoon? La 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 is it zoon?
you can rest assured that their interests are very much my own and that anything I can do to maintain the security of the citizens will be my primary objective. Be seeing to other and perhaps more attractive spheres. Where do you desire to go? What has been your dream? I can supply it. Winter, spring, summer or fall, they can all be yours at any time. Apply to me and it will be easier and better. There are those who come here with a fresh face, with an enthusiasm that cannot be denied. Beware. Be careful. Their promises ring richly in your ears. Our friend number six has a splendid record. He has adapted himself admirably to our procedure, but he has no experience whatsoever of the manipulation of such a community as ours. Beware, has he got the administrative ability to implement his policies? Can you trust him? Place your trust in the old regime. The policies are defined. The future certain. The old regime forever. And the old number two forever. Confession by coercion, is that what you want? Vote for him and you have it. Or stand firm upon this electoral platform and speak a word without fear. The word is freedom. They say... Six of one and half a dozen of the other. Not here. It's six for two and two for nothing. And six for three for all. For three for all. Vote. Vote.
non-alcoholic gin whiskey vodka. Looks the same, tastes the same. But you can't get me tipsy. No alcohol here, sir. You'd better vote for me. You and only you. Go away. Gin, whiskey, vodka. Looks the same and tastes the same. Get out! You're spying on me, aren't you? Get me a drink. Kakasi traka sa mukni, nasta. Alcoholic drink. Kakasi traka sa mukni, nasta. I'm for you. Let me be. Ever let me go. Ever let me go. Spying on me, aren't you? What's going to happen to you? Don't worry. There's no surveillance here. This is the therapy zone. They're clever, aren't they? Clever, aren't you? They are. Damn clever. Think of it. If you want to be an alcoholic, you can be one here in perfect privacy. So long as you rejoin the flock. In good time. I don't approve. Of the village? Yeah. To hell with the village. Cheers. Cheers. See him? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. He's a brilliant scientist. Just does that for a hobby. Come with me. I'll show you something. We leave him here in peace. He brews his brew, plays with his chalk. We come down once a week, photograph the stuff, clean it up for him, so that he can start on another lot. <laughs> <laughs> Clever as hell. Oh. Cheers. Vote for me. Vote for me. And I'll be. And I'll be. Ever so come for tea. <laughs> Quicker than usual. I warned you not to make it too strong. We mustn't damage the tissue. You needn't worry. There will be no remembrances. The portions are exact to take him right through the election. Thank <laughs> you. 
too. Well, I haven't cast neither. Come with me. I'll show you the ropes. No point in going into detail. Anything you want to know, press a button. You're the boss. Well, I've gone my way. Thanks for everything. I eat a zona. I eat zona. Anything I can do for you? Just checking. Be seeing you. And you.
This is our chance. This is our chance. Take it now. I have command. I will immobilize all electronic controls. Listen to me. You are free to go. You are free to go. Free to go. Free to go. You are free to go. You are free. Free. Free to go. You are free to go. I am in command. Obey me and be free. You are free to go. You are free to go. You are free to go. Free to go. Will you never learn? This is only the beginning. We have many ways and means, but we don't wish to damage you permanently. Are you ready to talk? Don't worry. All will be satisfactory in the end. Give my regards to the homeland. <laughs> 